you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. I'm gonna dye my hair. In completely a different direction. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Ashley. If you are not new, hi, I'm back. Um, as you can tell, I dyed the front of my hair. I'm feeding the cats right now, but I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm having mental breakdowns. I don't necessarily want to call them mental breakdowns, but I wanted to dye my entire head brown last night. Um, and I would be covering up like $200 worth of hair, which is fine. I only covered up like uh, $30 worth, but by the way, my cats really like this, so. You guys. I'm gonna dye my hair. So here's another problem. I have Revlon hair dye, and I don't know if Revlon is good for your hair, but when I looked it up, the only answer that Google gave me was Revlon, to use Revlon on your hair. It is the least damaging hair product, but it's the cheapest. And I don't know if that's good. We're gonna see here. Am I watching a tutorial? Absolutely not. Should I? Absolutely yes. from I should cut my bangs so I changed <laughs> completely a different direction I'm just gonna do the bangs um checking to make sure it looks even in the mirror it looks even so I'm just gonna go with it okay here we go yeah, that was the process of me uh, dyeing my hair. This thrifting trip was pretty different. Uh, you could see um, there are some cute things, some weird cute things though. Um, I thought that clock was really cute and that lamp and that lamp back there, um, they were selling for $20 and I purchased from Target for $10. And it is from Target. It still had the Target tags on and everything. Um, I thought it was pretty funny. And also that lamp was pretty cute. Um, I thought the jewelry box was really cute, but when I picked it up, it fell apart. And they had some cute little vases and that I actually bought from Target as well for $2.50 and they were selling it for $3, you know, not that big of a deal. Um, I was looking at this tank and I was contemplating on whether I should get it or not because the sides of that tank looked a little taller than the one I have now for my turtle. Um, we were also looking at the furniture because I was trying to find something to fill the space in my bedroom. And I looked at this and I really liked it, but it was scuffed up in a couple places. I thought this one was really cute, but it was worn. And that one they wanted like $200 for, yep, $179, which is not bad. It was pretty brand new, um, but I also looked at this one and it is from Target as well. Target got rid of a lot of their stuff and gave them to this Goodwill. I did eventually get this. I actually bought this because I thought it was perfect. It's an ottoman and it's a really good size, like three or four people could sit on it and I could lay on it comfortably, so I thought it was perfect, so I bought it for my room. I'll enter a picture in right here. Um, I was looking at the bottom of it and the legs to make sure they weren't wobbly and it wasn't broken or whatever. So I just peeled the tag off and took it to the register. Okay, so we got it in the car. I'm really excited about this. Get the ottoman out of the car. Like I said, I don't know if we're doing that today. Probably tomorrow. I'm gonna get it out, I'm gonna vacuum it, 
and then I'm gonna Lysol it. So we decided to go to PetSmart. I had to get some turtle food for my turtle, Gerald, back at home. But I did recently get rid of Stefan, one of my other turtles. I called him Stefan. And I was looking at them because I really wanted to get one of those turtles because they were so tiny. But I had to stop myself from getting one. Then we decided to go over here and look at these neon fish. These were so cool. They're so pretty. I was just mesmerized by these fish. They just glue in the dark, obviously, because that's what they are. They're glue in the dark fish. We just decided to look at all the fish, pretty much. They were all different shapes, sizes. They were kind of funky looking. I also got this little tray for Gerald's food. Um, here I am again looking at the turtles debating whether or not I should get one I do actually eventually come back around and look at them again um, Connor was over here looking at all these fish and that was scary to look at that was I don't know why that was so scary um, I forget what those were called um, but they were scary <laughs> and there were a bunch of snails everywhere on the tanks and in the sand um, I thought it was pretty cute Connor was like, is this thing alive or is this a toy, the little sea urchin? I'm like, no, that's alive. Do you not see it breathing? And we were looking at it and it's kind of funky looking. He's kind of scary. Um, can't they be poisonous? If anyone knows, please let me know. Because I have heard that they can be poisonous. Oh, here I go again. Looking at the turtles again. Debating if I want to get one. Spoiler alert, I don't. <laughs> He looked identical to Gerald, but just a tinier version. Um, I thought he was really, really cute as well. Their shells were more round than Gerald's, um, but they are smaller turtles, so I'm sure they will grow and their shell will get less circular. I did decide to come over here and look at the gravel and the rocks. Um, debated for a while which one to get. I eventually got this one. And then I went and looked at all the decor and I thought the Nemo was pretty cute. And that castle was adorable, but it was $80, so no. I thought this little cone castle was pretty cute. And we went and looked at the hamsters. There was this hamster strawberry house. Um, we also went and looked at the ferrets and I did not realize how expensive ferrets actually were. <laughs> And here we are looking at the little birdies. I think birds are so cute to have as pets, but I don't think I would ever want to have one myself personally. So I found this really cute bag with like musical theater shows on it. Then I went to look at the shoe section and I saw these, but they were kind of weird looking. And other than that, I didn't find anything else that drew my attention. Um, besides these cute little um, cowboy boots down here, those are so cute. Too bad I don't have a baby. <laughs> also, I saw these shoes and I thought those were kind of cute, but I would never be able to walk in those. And then I just came over to the furniture section. My Goodwill doesn't have like a big furniture section, but I thought that end table was very cute. And it looked like somebody has already refurnished it before. Um, this TV stand is here every single time we go. And it's been there like the past two weeks. Uh, by the time I'm editing this video, I don't know if it's still there or not, but... I thought it was pretty cute and then my little brother found this like fan thing that i'm pretty sure helps with fires in like a fireplace or like a fire pit or something um i found this cute little donut maker and then this brand new grilled cheese maker it still had everything in the little plastic baggie and not opened yet which i thought was really cool and then i found this little quesadilla cooker i think that's what it was Pretty much every time my little brother and I go to the Goodwill, we find little cute trinkets like this and this little candle holder. This dish was adorable, but I had no use for it, so I did not get it. I wish I did, but I didn't have any use for it. And then we went and looked in the clothes, and I found this Stitch little night set, which we did not get this trip, but we did end up getting it in the next trip because it was still there. I always like to look at these pants because I really like the kind of yoga pants that are mid-waisted and that they're kind of flared at the bottom. I thought this set was really cute. I just thought the shorts were really, really short. Um, but for summer, I don't think it would have 
been a problem. It's still cold here in Washington and I found these and I thought they were really cute but they had a string and I'm not a big fan of the whole string thing. That color was like ugly. <laughs> and then I went and looked through the jeans and these ones really caught my eye with the floral design here at the bottom. They were very cute but I don't think I can see myself wearing something like that. They were skinny jeans as well. So I have my face mask on. I'm gonna work on my thingy. And watch some YouTube, but when my YouTube video is over, you guys can sit here with me and watch me type, so. Okay, so right now it is two o'clock and I have to leave for work ah, um, because I want to stop at Dutch Bros on my way to work. Ow! Oh, I gotta get going and I will see you guys when I get to work. So I'm here at work for proof. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream.